This is Orange County's best Asian food hall, and in this video, I'm gonna show you around. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see what I can see. This is Rodeo 39 in Stanton, California, and by the way, this line of people out here at 11 in the morning, they are here for Fuholic, for some bowls of some noodle soup that we'll check out in just a moment. We're about five miles from Disneyland in Anaheim, uh, quite near Huntington Beach, Westminster, Little Saigon. This is the map of this place. There are uh, about 20 different shops and restaurants in here. So let's go ahead and take a look. We're gonna start our way this way. The first one is Coffee Dose, where you can get some coffee and some donuts, but you can also get some Holo Holo right here. You got Pandan ice cream blended with ube coconut jellies and frosted flakes. They've also got ube waffles right there. And uh, in addition to the restaurants, there are also shops. Uh, so here you can get your, it's called Life for Cuts Premium K Photo Studio. So they have these like photo booths that you go in and take different photos, kind of like this, like these kind of sappy photos, but they've got different accessories that you can wear to take the photos. And then you come in here, it's $6 for one and one and they got these little booths where you take the photos right there. Uh, all the rage in Asia, these photo booths. Uh, no Asian food hall would be complete without some boba tea. Here we got a boba tea shop, get a milk tea for about five bucks here. The uh, P Vista Lab. What is this spot? Not, not open yet. Too early. Pasta Nation. Oh, that's, maybe that's maybe that's supposed to say pasta. Does that say pasta? You tell me. Spaghetti, fettuccine, ten bucks. House specials, chicken parmesan, seventeen dollars. Uh, we've got O and dough for some um, mochi donuts. So these are donuts made of like a rice flour, and they've got malasadas, which are super popular in Hawaii, filled with things like matcha. Taiwanese brown sugar and mango over here. This place is pretty good. This is a Laotian barbecue. Uh, so you can get Lao chicken, Lao pork ribs, short ribs, sausage, lots of Lao meats. They like their meats. And you can get papaya salad too. Over here around the corner at Primal Cuts. This is like a, uh, like a steakhouse in a food hall, which is kind of cool. So you can see all these like prime steaks here. So you can pick one of those prime steaks, they'll cook it up for you. Uh, or of course, things like burgers uh, <clears throat> and they weigh it by the pound. The ribeye, $35, that's what you want. Over here, we've got some uh, Mexican food, Buenos box, where we got tacos. Over here on the right, Kare Japanese curry. There are a lot of different curries up here. Well, one curry, but different toppings. Chicken katsu, gyoza, uh, tempura. And this is uh, the rodeo bar seating area. Most of the seating is just in these kind of like little things in between the stalls or the outdoor seating that I showed you before or this patio by the pub place. This spot here, Tenori, specializes in onigiri. It's not sushi, it's not pokey, it's not raw, says the sign. It's a traditional Japanese dish filled with white rice into a triangular shape, often wrapped in nori or seaweed. And you can get it in these different flavors right here. I like the pork belly. Uh, the honey walnut shrimp is surprisingly good too. And uh, oh, it can be pretty busy. They've got this little sign that tells you like how busy it is based on how the weight is there. And then you just order from the digital screen. Uh, there's a little arcade back here in the corner, so if your food's taking a long time, you can come back here and play some THQ Ninja Turtles, Raiden, Metal Slug, Donkey Kong, Miss Pac-Man, Cruisin', Time Crisis. I like pinball, so you'd probably find me playing Attack from Mars, Spider-Man, or The Simpsons, but I'll challenge anybody to a game of Street Fighter 2. Uh, Ken uh, is definitely my jam. All right, there's a little brewery right here in the middle. If you want to uh, imbibe in some alcoholic beverages, the brewery for beer on the left, and then the bar for mixed drinks over there in the center. Hey, prices here for a 10 ounce beer start at $5 for the cheapest. Over here, we've got Oi Asian Fusion. Maybe that's how you pronounce it, O-I. Uh, this is a Filipino spot 
specializing in uh, adobo. Adobo bowl, $12.99. Uh, and you can see some pictures over there on their uh, dessert menu. They've also got the holo holo that we saw as we walked in the beginning. Different stalls. Uh, if you're gonna eat here, definitely upgrade to the garlic rice for an extra couple bucks where they put uh, lots of garlic on that rice. Pretty good tattoo spot here in the center where you can get yourself with some uh, new designs on your skin. Kimchi butter shrimp plate over here at Shoot. This is a Hawaiian place. Uh, and this place can often be quite busy. By the way, I'm here at 11 a.m., so they're not busy yet. Uh, but what do they got here? They're uh, specialized in the kimchi butter katsu chicken sandwich. They've also got a bunch of different uh, plates that you can pick. <clears throat> but uh, you won't go wrong there. At Bon Chao Boys, they have Vietnamese crepes uh, in this open kitchen. What's a Vietnamese crepe? There's no picture, and they're not open yet. Here's a picture of the Vietnamese crepe. Uh, it's like made of egg like that, kind of like a maybe an omelet too. Uh, comes with some veggies. They're about 15 bucks. They got a few different varieties. They've also got pork belly fries, pork egg rolls, Vietnamese coffee churros, and pandan horchata. Now, uh, as I said, this Asian food hall, you know, there's definitely a lot of non-Asian food here too. And fusion definitely seems to be like a pretty popular type of cuisine. Uh, I've enjoyed the pizza here at Steel Pan, which is a Detroit style pizza. So they're these individual pan pizzas. They start at 10 bucks, they're square like this. Um, and you know, it's called Detroit style because uh, they were like, cooked in oil pans is the story in Detroit a uh, kebab place to come in here kebab craft not open yet if you want cookies the cookies here are pretty good sweet to go they have uh, chocolate reese's pb and j um this blue thing cookie monster and ube white chocolate and you can get an ice cream sandwich for 11. a single cookie here is four dollars and fifty cents all right uh here there is this place looks gone. Uh, it was a ramen joint, but they look like it's gonna be replaced by something else. There's a little shop here, the other way from the beginning. This is where we started, but we're not done yet. We're gonna go to the right, but uh, this has a bunch of like collectibles here and hats. Now all these people are here for uh, the pho place. And so <clears throat> you order, they give you a number for your table, and then you sit down and eat these noodles. This place is said to serve over a thousand bowls of noodles a day. That's how busy it is. Uh, and this line, I, I don't know, it looked like it was like a hundred people deep or something like that uh, at Faholic. Uh, they have a special to-go side, uh, but you can see it's big inside. Crazy rich broth is what their sign says. And we'll kind of find our way to snake through the line, but that's what all these people eating out here are and you just kind of you roll in it's not like waiter service you come in and you order at the um, counter right there and a bowl of noodles how much is it going to cost uh i don't know we'll call it about 12 bucks it's hard to see the price on that menu yeah you could own this next one it's for rent but pretty much everybody that sits out in this section are the people uh eating their noodles and then we got somebody bringing water to people to make sure they are hydrated. Uh, you can get your nails done, did, or you can get some clothing. And kiddos, including my daughter, really like to come and hang out up here. If you're here, like on this kind of like stage thing, and this is also a dog friendly patio. If you're here with your kids, they don't want any of that Asian food, they might like Raising Cane's over here, In-N-Out Burger, Panda Express, and then also just down this way on the other side of Planet Fitness, there's a cool place that serves uh, sugar cane juice. Well, fellow explorers, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of my videos on Orange County, you'll find some links here on the screen or in the description below. As usual, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you in the next video.